What's going on? If you've tried to use CSS transitions to animate an element's height from zero to auto, you know that it doesn't work. And I was reading some web dev news today and saw that we can actually do this using the grid template rows property. I'm gonna show you how to do it in Webflow right now. Hey there, web bay. All right, so a great use case for this is something like an FAQ accordion or a tabs component that you wanna animate on hover. So I've got my component library here for examples like this. Let's copy this right into Webflow. Oops, I've got some uh, duplicate class names, but that's okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and inspect this thing. So I'm actually using interactions here, and you can see if we preview, then our interactions are making this animate because we have to use JavaScript to animate from a height of zero to a height of auto. All right, so let's see what happens when we actually try to animate the height property. Now, what I'm gonna wanna set up is a little bit of custom CSS. So let's go ahead and drag an embed on here right at the top. And I'm gonna paste this code here. And what this code is saying is that when we hover over something with a class of FAQ1 underscore question, then we wanna get the sibling, that's this tilde, and we wanna get the sibling with the class of FAQ1 underscore answer, and we wanna set the CSS height property to auto. Okay, so we wrote a little bit of custom CSS. Now the other thing is we have to set the FAQ1 underscore answer initial height to zero pixels. And now when we hover over this FAQ question, we're getting this to show up, but it's happening instantaneously even if we apply a transition to FAQ1 answer. So I can apply it to the height property here, and let's try to make it pronounced with something like 500 milliseconds, but we'll see it's still not working. And that's because height in this case to auto is not an animatable property. However, the grid template columns property is. So let's go ahead and set this up. Now to change this, let me get rid of this transition and let me get rid of this height set to zero pixels. And I'm gonna delete this padding top just to make this a little bit simpler. And what we wanna do is we wanna take this text block and we wanna take this FAQ1 answer and we're gonna modify the properties that we have on these by just a little bit. So FAQ1 answer, this gets a display of grid and I don't want this default column here and I don't want this default second row. So we can delete those. And I actually wanna set the default grid um, template row to zero FR but Webflow doesn't allow that. You'll see over here, it's setting it to 0.25. So we're gonna have to write custom CSS for this as well, but that's okay. Um, and we're gonna animate it to this value of auto. So let me delete that row that I just put on there. And we're gonna write just a little bit more custom CSS. So we've got this set to, let me make sure we set up our initial conditions correctly. So we know this is what we wanna animate to, but let's get our initial condition here. So that's FAQ answer. Uh, now we wanna set the property of grid template rows to zero FR. And we'll just go ahead and save and close that. Now this still is not collapsing. So our initial condition is still all jacked up. Let's go ahead and take this text block. What we have is we have some content overflowing. Now you might think you need to set overflow to hidden on this FAQ one answer, but we actually need to set it on the text block itself. So let's set overflow to hidden there. And we'll call this class overflow on overflow hidden, something like that. And let's apply it to each one. So that text block and this text block. Okay, so those are hidden and the FAQ one answer is set to a grid template rows of zero FR. Now the last thing we need to do, well, maybe not the last thing, but we need to set the, not the height, we need to set the grid template rows property within this CSS statement here to one FR. So I'm gonna change that zero to a one. And that's kind of like, basically the auto property. It's gonna to go to the height that it needs to go to. So let's save and close that and see what we're getting. Now we're still getting this instantaneously because we haven't set our transition yet. So in Webflow, an easy thing you could do is select FAQ1 answer and come down here to our transitions and we should be able to just apply it to all. So let's see how that looks. And you can see now this thing is animating. I'm not a big fan of applying it to all. So let's go ahead and select FAQ1 answer and I'll get the CSS preview and copy that to clipboard. You know, we wanna let Webflow write the code for us. That's the whole purpose of using it. And let's paste that down there. And I'm just going to grab that and we'll delete that. And on FAQ1 answer class, we're gonna animate grid template rows, just like that. And maybe set this to 300 milliseconds and we can set the timing function as well. So just so you see that there. So now let's go ahead and save and close. And on FAQ one answer within Webflow, we can get rid of that transition property there. And let's go ahead and see this thing animating. So this is super cool. 
you couldn't do this before with CSS. You had to use JavaScript and now we can do it with CSS. So it's live in designer. It's not operating on the main thread and it helps with performance. It helps with, you know, all sorts of stuff. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. If uh, you like this video, then YouTube's about to recommend another video of mine that you should probably watch. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.